So, good morning everybody. We're back on the Rochdale Canal. I've actually got a few friends. Look, peekaboo. Oh yeah, come to have a nosy. A bit further up, they've got some um, little goslings. Right, so I picked this spot here because if you have a look, just over there, that used to be a place, I'm not sure what it used to be, but look at that brick wall. I love it. So we're going to try and get right in that corner there. I've never done it before. And then if you have a look here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it there, but it's a mobile phone case. Look at all that rubbish. This is where people chill out, chillax, whatever you want to do. Have a bit of a siesta, yeah. So there you go, ladies and gents. We're going to hit this spot. Um, maybe to the left or to the right. I don't know. We'll just see what we see what we end up with. I never plan anything. Whatever's in here is coming out and coming home. So take care, everybody. Let's see if we can find some treats. Right, absolute, absolute rookie area. This. I didn't bring my gloves with me, but I always carry two pairs um, for afterwards in case it's cold. So I've got my leather ones, which I'm going to have to wear, and I've got my fabric ones afterwards, which I'll put on afterwards if I need to. So rookie error, make sure you come prepared. I've got all the kit, um, usual stuff, usual stuff. Using the G90 today, new spot, never done it before, in between places where I have been. So let's see what we can get. Nice, nice, peaceful morning. And that's what we want. I'll put my G gloves on. Let's see what we can get, ladies and gents, because as long as that's full, we're rubbish. And that's pretty good. We're on to a winner. I don't know if you watch Mr. Houlihan's Magnet Man Houlihan. Um, his latest one, I'll put a little thumbnail here, but people have asked him how you clean your magnet. Well, like he said, you don't, you just leave it as you left it the time before. Yeah, that's what I do. Always brings in the treats, doesn't it? Let's get some treat finding. With me dodgy gloves. I ain't got a clue what we're going to find, but like I said in my little intro, I want to get all the way to that back wall, if I can. Rope's long enough. So there's no excuse. In fact, we'll do a little edge dip here. Let's go. I don't know, let's go this far. Because it might have been done before, you never know. get to know straight away if it's been done with a little edgy dips oh did you hear that click <laughs> wow wow what a first click a windless jeez man this could be a good spot, ladies and gents. Get off it. Wow, there's actually rust there as well. Look at that, man. Right, time to go home. We found something. No. Yeah. <laughs> Little edge dip. Always doing edge dip, ladies and gents. I always give you stuff. Little tips if you want to follow him, if you don't, just do what you want to do. It's no real book. Can't believe that sound of that click, man. We'll do all the way up to the bags. Right. Got something else here.
I don't know, we'll have a look at it though. Right, let's get out there. If the um, geese and the ducks start coming round here, um, I'll move. I don't want to disturb them. Right, we'll do from the bags, so we'll get in line with bags. Uh, we are dragging something here, whether it's just a load of silt, a load of smoke, or a treat. Okay, what's this? We have got something big on the bottom. Some sort of valve or something, isn't it? It's huge. Let's get that off. Yeah, closer look. We'll knock all smeg off that at home. It's a pipe of some sort, some joining pipe. Get that out of the cheap bucket. And some rubbish and get out the water. Morning. You've not got a clue what's in these waters. Built in the 1700s, these, this Rochdale Canal. And you've got 33 miles to play with. So, even just that alone, it's a lifetime. A lifetime of treasure hunting. I don't mind doing bridges and that a lot, but I think they're getting very modern as in people are doing them. Hence, obviously, you find some cracking stuff. Could see it's at a dump. But even the straights, I mean, this is a straight. Get rid of the bags, we'll get rid of the bags. Get in there, your little sausage. There's probably a lot of branches. dragging something some sort of pole with a turning up bit yeah. put that straight in the cat get out there again Right, so the left of me is a family of ducks with babies. And to the right of me there's some geese. I'd, I might move down or up. I don't want to disturb them. And if I can get a picture of them, or I'm on video showing you. But they they want to come up this way. Yeah, let's move. I don't want to disturb them. They're only babies, aren't they? make this our last one and that bag out so they don't have to deal with that let's see what we've got random piece of metal um, yeah, we'll have a look at that, why not? We pulled it up, didn't we? Right, I'm going to move. Let me get that bag out.
Right, I'm gonna move because there's wildlife at either side of me and I feel, yeah, they wanna get past. Good little spot here, but when it's, when it's not full of wildlife, I'll, I'll come back to it, don't you worry. Right, on to the next one. There's our little furry friends. I'll try and zoom in a bit. There's a bright yellow one. Look at that beauty. Aren't oh, they beautiful? Right, let's not disturb them anymore. Let them play. We'll get out of their way. It's their home, it's not mine. I think this pathway runs down here, so I think I'm just going to do where the pathway is. Just on this little straight bit. Yeah, I don't think I've ever, ever done that. Mad loss. Might as well give it a tickle. We'll do another edge dip, see what we'll come up with. does slope down this embankment so I might end up skimming in something on there straight away yeah. whatever that is we'll have a look Doing edge do it without falling in. Something here, man. What is that? Hey, I think that's a weight. I think that, my beauts, is an old weight. If it is mint, let me uh, give, it a, give it a little swish. Oh no, it's a little drain cover. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? That's different. I'll we'll have that all day long. Shimon. bubbles could mean a tree could mean branches could mean me falling in if I'm not too careful couple of things on here. Oh wow. Oh wow. Look at that. Look at that cog. That's immaculate. I think. Oh it's broke but anyway we're having that. <sighs> Ain't got a clue what that is. That's coming on. That could just go in the scrap. I'll definitely have a look at that. What's this? It's got a pointed end. We'll have a look at that as well. Why not, eh? Right. Let's 
just get throwing out again. Right, you beauts. So, if you like what you see with the magnets, accessories, all you need to do is head over to www.magnetstore.co.uk, click on the fishing magnets, and you've got a vast amount of magnets to choose from professional kits or accessories. So, pick which one you like, add to cart, go to the checkout, enter my code PATRIOT10. Click apply coupon and then what you'll see your buttes is you'll have a 10% discount knocked off your order. Pepsi. A roller or something. Not your mum's rollers. What else we got here now? See a sneaky penny or something. Oh yes, some more cogs. Two p. Look at that. This is what I love. All right, another cog. Yeah, there could be a machine down there. You don't know, do you? Nice trusty bolt screw. Look at the size of that one then. If that was intact, wow. And then where's that penny gone? Ah, let's get in the middle there again. Listen to them birds chirping. Isn't it beautiful? So tranquil. Got a little dude, sure have. Woo! Whether it be a branch, a tree, stones, I don't know till it comes up. You know the dance by now. thingamajig does that extend well that bit comes off ow so we'll have a closer look at that a nut nut can get in there and what is that Well, that's cool, isn't it? So let the tea for treat. Right, what's this here? Not a lot of bubbles for this. Sneaky penny just sat there chilling on end. And then little bolo arms, look at that. Right, what we got here? That is just a hefty piece of metal, I can get rid of that. And then yet again, one of these things that we keep finding. Another sneaky penny. What 
cut it big. Oof. Okay. What is that? Flip it out. Any ideas, anybody? You know, we're having a look at that baby. Let's get in the middle. Let's bring our rope to the other side. It's actually moving away from the bridge. Oh, straight onto something here. What are the chances? Oh man, that was a clunking ass. Oh, we've got some bubbles. Lovely bubbles. Let's get this baby in. Leaving a pathway with bubbles. <laughs> Bit of cloves. And a solid tube. Well, it's not solid, that's it's hollow, because look, it's got stones in it. Straight in the bucket, that. Yeah, the cracking fishing law here. And I think a huge spanner. Look at that beauty. Wow. Where's that fisherman gone? What is this? Is that part of a wrench? A pipe wrench? There you go. Markings. Drop forged steel. We'll have a bit of that cock as well, won't we? Look at that. What a spot. Oh, random spot, Scott. Scott on, spot on. Right, I'm gonna go give that uh, fisherman these these laws. Right, so I give the gent them to fishing doodies. Was uh, much appreciated with that. Go on, and you're right. All right. Mate. I thought I'd give this place a little tickle. Uh, seems I've walked down to him. You're right. Yeah. Never done here before, so well, like the other spots I've never done. Squish can. Five p. And a paper clip. There you go. That, my friend, is a magazine. Cool. Got 
exactly what that is. So we'll have a nosy. A tagging can. Lighter. Yeah, last chuck. A trowel. Or a scraper, whatever you want to call it. We'll call it a scraper. And a good old chab can. And a bottle cap. Yeah, I've decided that I've just found, I've just walked past my bridge that I normally go to. So uh, I'm just going to have a quick tickle here, a quick half an hour out way home, why not, I've got a long journey ahead of me so it'd be rude not to, won't it? Right, first cast, let's see what we've got. There you go, part of the barbecue. Why not, eh, throw your barbecue in canal. I'm mad about the tip. Barbecue and canal will do. Oh, well, we know that's magnetic, look. I'll take that. And what other passengers have we got? Stella Artois. Another one. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, man, all that all day long. Let's check that baby out. Is that a Stanley one? Jammed in that. Saw that hour on. Ten P. Whatever that is. Turn to release handle. Okay. Okay. A lovely shovel. Well, after a last throw, <sighs> right, we're definitely going now. My cart's full. I'll cram all this in now. Wow, what an absolute hour and a bit that I've just had. Um, just picking random spots, throwing a magnet in, and just look at what's in front of you. Impressive, right? What have we got over in the cement corner? So we've got a spade, we've got part of the barbecue, we've got like a piece of metal there. The barbecue legs minus the plastic wheels that are snapped off. There's that big long pole, there's the other pole, bit of smeg there, 
couple of uh, pieces. I'll show you actually. This one. That one's just a bit of iron slag. And this one. It's a piece of random. Alright, let's crack on to goodies. And it starts messing around. Camera. Right. It's a bit smooth on one end. Sorry about it. The wind has picked up. It's raining. And it's cold. So you've got a nut on a smooth part here. And then a bit of threaded here. Mm. Get that out of the way. Right. We have a blank. I don't know why these are always in the canals, but they are. And then we've got um, 10, 15, 20, 24 pence of free money. Look at that. Right, I ain't got a clue what this is. So if people can help me to locate what it's off. It has got HS20BC, a letter N and then an MH with the plus in the middle. And I think that says something nickel, vin nickel, something like that. I'll put a close up of it. I ain't got a clue what that is. My apologies for people that keep telling me what these are. But I forgot already. Yeah, point your bit at the end. And that's just a big thick piece of metal. You can use that for electrolysis. These are just little off bits of metal. They should have really got it smeg pile. There's nothing much there. Same with that one. That one should have gone in smeg pile. Right, I don't know what this is off. Turn to release handle that way. So that's what you do. To release handle. That's got a little clip thing there, hasn't it? What does that do? Well, that's how you move it anyway. So we ain't got a clue what that's off. Second knife of the day, put a knife. First knife of the day. Well, it's actually, it's got a stand the blades inside it. Um, it's just one stand the blade. There we go. Look at that beauty. I think you do that to release that, I don't know. I'm not messing with that anyway. It's different. Don't like it's been there that long, neither. I think this is just a blank where people have just cut something out of it or could it have gone around a drain pipe? I don't know. This is a roller of probably some sort of conveyor belt system. Yeah, again, we do not know. This is cool because this looks like someone's like homemade screwdriver or a little shiv you never know and you never know do you different though this dual lighter obviously it don't work mm, different scraper that was meant to be my last joke, but then ended up with the last last joke. It ended up being that spade. Um, what have we got now? Yeah, this one. Right, I went up to a guy giving them fishing laws, and um, thought I'd have a quick tickle in the canal next to where he was, and I found this. So uh, I don't know if it's for real bullets or it's just pellet metal anyway, all metal, it's not plastic and that spring goes up and down there and I don't know what that compartment's for but that spring goes all the way up and down as you can see the springs inside 
So I'm not sure what you load up there, whether it's real or fake. Either way it's cool. Right, we had a cog session. So we'll just start with this one. Imagine how big that would be. Um, these are like fitments. Cool though. I like stuff like this. I like stuff to do with machinery and that. Same again with this one. See, these could be part of the old uh, locks and nearby. You don't know, do you? You never know where they've come from. But either way, they cool the slot onto something and then obviously move something, don't they? Look at that. Love it. All these are in the same spot. But look at that one, it's, abs it's, it's actually complete. And it does look like it's bent some of the, uh, the bristles, I call them. You know, some of the cogs system there, the teeth. You know, it does look like they're bent. Like it's had some high pressure on that, but that is mint. Same again is this. This little drain cover. I thought it was a weight at first when it come up like that. I've never seen a circular one before. I've seen square ones. And obviously big circular ones. I've never seen a tiny one like that. But it's weird because there's no drains where I was. These two big poles. This one's got like a spiked end. But it's just... I don't think it's anything really. But this is. So whether... Where's that, um, just thinking now, bear with me on this thought. What about if them sit on there like that? No, it don't fit, does it? I'm just thinking if these, I feel like, anyway, you know what I'm thinking. Right, what is this? Flat end. What is that? Does anyone know? It's got some weight to it. And obviously you've got the wrench here that says drop forged steel. That's the come up with the number 24 there, so whether that's 24 inches, proper two under that in it. Obviously it's minus its top bit here. But look at the size of that baby. Um, right, first pull, absolutely amazing, windless, look at that, absolutely gobsmacked, but the clunk on that was phenomenal, right, we have this thing here, now let me get it right where, it does say, in fact I'll turn it this way, you can see it, Satch well, and that's a make. And I think this is something to do with a boiler. I'm not sure, radiator boiler. Anyway, it's got Satch well, Satch well control written there, and there, and there. And it's got a number, it's got letters H or MB, and then a 15 or a 15, and then a spec 6. 71 or 617 617 there so if I find any info on that look at that amazing absolutely blown away today with all this it's probably one of my best solo hours out so uh, anyway I'm going to get in and get a brew because it's freezing so um, we'll see you on the next adventure there's the big pole over there people that said I'll bring stuff on yeah um, there you go look at all that I'm absolutely amazed by it anyway take care everyone we'll see you on the next adventure take care
bring